Well, it's a Sunday here and we would like to say welcome to Serious Matters on Onis TV. And looking at the most serious matter now, you can guess, it's coronavirus. Of course, it's to give you one or two updates from Nigeria. Um, we have um, 10 new cases confirmed in Nigeria. Um, we had six in Lagos, two in the FCT and two in Edo. Well, happy Sunday and happy Palm Sunday to you. The coronavirus had not, has not stopped us from celebrating um, this time. Um, you know, with our Lord Jesus Christ, Christians understand what I'm talking about. So it's happy Sunday and happy Palm Sunday to every one of our Christian brothers and sisters outside there. So as at 11, 15 a.m. today, 15, the 5th of April, there are 224 confirmed cases of COVID-19 reported in Nigeria. 27 have been discharged with five deaths. We, we had it we, we had an additional two deaths yesterday but by now we already have an additional one death so we have five deaths 224 confirmed cases and 27 discharged and for a breakdown quickly let's do a rundown of how the number came to that in lagos we have 115 confirmed cases in the fcc fct we have 45 in Oshun state we have 20 in oyo we have nine akwa hibom five in ogun four in edo nine in the Kaduna 4, in Bauchi 6, in Enugu 2, in Ikiti 2, in Rivers 1, in Benue 1, in Ondo 1. So that's the update on the confirmed cases of Corona um, virus. Well, good to hear also, we hear that the federal government is taking its first delivery of medical supplies through um, Airpiece, Airpiece Airline that left for Turkey, a seven hour flight earlier on today and had returned with um, delivery of um, the supplies from Instable. The federal government on Saturday night on Saturday night got the first batch of medical supplies in the fight against the spread of coronavirus pandemic and for the treatment of COVID-19 patients. Airpiece aircraft Boeing 777 with registration number 5N BWI landed at the Namde Azikwe International Airport, Abuja from Istanbul, Turkey. On Saturday night, it was learned that the flight left Nigeria early Saturday for the seven-hour flight to Turkey and was able to lift the supplies and return to Nigeria before midnight that same day. The source also disclosed that this was the first batch of the medical supplies from the federal government, noting that the airline would leave for China on Monday, 6th April, for another batch of medical supplies from uh, for the medi for the federal government, and that's to help in the treatment of them. Um, and when the, the, the chief operating officer of AIP spoke, um, she commended the federal government for its efforts to read the coronavirus disease from um, Nigeria, noting that the Nigerian government is way ahead of so many other countries in the fight against the virus, which is devastating mankind. So um, that's it. That's, that's a good one coming in from um, you know, uh, coming from the federal government in taking deliveries of medical supplies from Instable, Turkey. And so that's it on COVID-19. I think um, with what we're hearing, some states are already relieving um, the curfew, relaxing the curfew. We already have, uh, have it relaxed in, um, in Abia State. We had it relaxed in Oyo. We had it relaxed in some places. That means they have been given some time to move around and everything. I am trusting that just as our Father in the Lord said earlier on today, that we should relax and be calm. In no time, it will become a thing of the past. That is still it regarding coronavirus. We will be giving you updates as they unfold. Thank you very much for watching. God bless you. Bye.